Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce an efficient nonlinear manifold reduced to the model. My name is Young Su, and this work is done with Young Yu, David, and Tarek. Why reduced to the model? What sort of game models? You are looking at a beautiful simulation modeled by smooth particle hydrodynamics for shape charge penetration. This simulation is well matched with experiment data, but very expensive. One fold simulation takes 7.4 days. This is unfortunate in multi-query applications such as design optimization. Therefore, many have tried to build an efficient surrogate models that accelerates their simulations without losing much accuracy. Such a surrogate model can be built by first considering a parameter space D, where you collect data by solving full order model for several sample points. Then you apply machine learning techniques to build a surrogate model. Various techniques are available as listed here. Then using the surrogate model, you can accelerate simulations with various query points here and there and many more. These surrogate models can be cate cate categorized by its level of intrusiveness. For example, from black box approach denoted as BB, which is the least intrusive method to the linear subspace reduced to the model, and nonlinear manifold reduced to the model, which are fully intrusive. Roughly speaking, more intrusiveness means more accuracy, so ROMs are more accurate than the black box approach. On the other hand, more intrusiveness need, means less speed up, so the BB method is faster than ROMs in general. We are particularly interested in the most accurate surrogate model, that is NMROM. Unfortunately, the NMROM is currently slower than the full order model, which is not practical. However, we have imp improved the NMROM speed up tremendously. This is our main contribution. To explain what NMROM is, I will compare NMROM with LSROM step by step. First of all, LSROM uses linear subspace solution representation, while NMROM uses a nonlinear manifold representation using nonlinear map G. We use autoencoder to obtain the nonlinear map, then both LSROM and NMROM substitute these solution representations into the governing equations. Since these are overdetermined systems, we close them by minimizing the norm of the residuals. By the way, we have problems here. You see these nonlinear terms still scale with the full order model size. This makes the whole procedure more expensive than the corresponding full order models, which is completely useless. To resolve these serious problems, we developed a hyperreduction technique. In hyperreduction, we try to reduce the cost of the following three nonlinear terms shown in red. Our hyperreduction techniques first select a subset of nonlinear terms to avoid the evaluation of the full size. We do that by following gap POD procedure. This implies that only subset of the neural network outputs need to be computed as illustrated with the orange disk in this decoder. Note that the shallower network involves the last number of hidden nodes for the computation of the selected outputs. Furthermore, we build a sparser network by applying a mask to further increase the efficiency. Here we compare the performance of various surrogate models in an advection-dominated 2D viscous Burgers equation, which is known to be a hard problem for ROMs to achieve a good accuracy. As you can see from the movies, NMROM and FORM are almost identical in eyeball norms, while LSROM shows fictitious oscillations in front of the shock wave. The BB approach looks okay in eyeball norm. However, quantitatively, the BB approach has the worst maximum relative error, that is around 38%. On the other hand, NMROM achieves less than 1% maximum relative error, Furthermore, a considerable speedup is achieved by the NMROM. In summary, an efficient nonlinear manifold ROM is introduced, where solution dimension is reduced by nonlinear manifold solution representation. The nonlinear dimension is reduced by hyperreduction. This NMROM is supposed to achieve a higher speedup for large scale problems, so we will definitely apply it to large scale problems. Furthermore, we will tackle instability problems such as rayleigh taylor instability. For more details about our NMROM, please check out our paper and do not hesitate reaching out to us. Thank you so much for listening.